Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Quidash. I want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. And none of the wicked shall understand. And that comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. And this will be considered the time of the end. This is the time of revelation or the revealing of the truth. And only those that the Most High, through Yahweh Shai, reveals this truth unto, they are going to get it. But some the Most High have closed up their understanding. All right? Because that is the key, understanding. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse 7. And it reads, Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the first thing, or the chief thing. Principal meaning first or chief thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting of wisdom, get understanding. All right, so understanding will be the glue that's going to cement wisdom and knowledge together and make you capable to use wisdom and knowledge by understanding. That's why the book of Daniel 12 and 10 tells us, many shall be purified and made white. And that's the 144,000. Those amongst the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to be purified and made white and tried. And that's how they're going to be purified and made white through trial and error. All right. And that tried basically is uh, tough times or hard times or that fire that the scripture speaks about. Isaiah 48 and 10. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. It says, but the wicked shall do wickedly. All right. So two thirds of our people are doing wickedly. Why? Because they are conformed to the wicked's world. So by default, they're going to do what the wicked do. It says, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So we are amongst the wise because we understand that America is our captivity and it should be destroyed. It being the most wickedest kingdom that ever been erected and is being ran by a wicked man which is the wicked elites, the shadow government of America, all right? And a brother would not be able to come in the midst of this congregation or come into the camp, all right, or be a part of the body of Yahweh Shah if he didn't have understanding, all right? And by him having understanding, that shows that he is an Israelite, regardless of how he looks. He can look like a so-called Asian he can look like a so-called Hamite. He can look like a so-called um, white man. But if he understand this truth, he have the spirit of an Israelite. Daniel 12 and 10 again. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. So that's a gauge to see if who's potentially the righteous or who is the wicked. Bring scriptures out and see do they understand the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. It says, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So none of the wicked is going to understand these words, nor these breakdowns, nor the future of America. Proverbs 28, verse 5, it says, evil men... Evil men understand of not judgment. So if you're wicked, meaning you don't have understanding of this truth, all right, that makes you uh, a part of those that do wickedly or a part of the wicked. It says evil men understand of not judgment. Why? Because they don't have true wisdom, all right? And if they did have wisdom and knowledge, they don't have understanding 
to apply that wisdom and knowledge. Why? Because they're wicked. It says, but they that seek the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, understand of all things. Because the Most High have given us an unction. All right? He have given us eye salve. He have given us the ears to hear. All right? That's why it's very important, all right, to have understanding. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 9 tells us, It says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand of not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. And that is the bridge of you being healed by you understanding by you having ears to hear which is to understand and the eyes to see all right which is to uh, receive this truth okay or perceive this truth that's that gauge and the most high through Yahweh Shai have given the ears to hear to those that he want to receive and those that he don't want to receive he have cut off their ears all right and made their hearts fat, okay? As the scripture tells us in St. Matthew, St. Matthew 13, and 13, it says, Therefore speak I to them in parables. And that's why Yahweh Shai spoke unto them in parables. That is the gauge to see who is the wicked and who is those that are potentially amongst the righteous. Because those that are potentially amongst the righteous are going to understand. But the wicked is not going to understand. That's that gauge. That's why Yahweh Shai spoke in parables. It says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. All right, now we just read, the prophet Isaiah, and he prophesied about these people. Now, this is St. Matthew reiterating the prophecy of Isaiah. Verse 14, And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, or Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross. See that? That's the most high through Yahweh Shai blocking your mind. And their ears are dull of hearing. But we are made of quick understanding. Alright. But they are dull of hearing. Meaning their understanding is not quick. Quick meaning sharp. See that? It says. And their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their ears. Or see with their eyes. Should I say. And hear with their ears. And should understand with their heart. And should be converted and I should heal them. So that's the gauge right there. Alright. That's the bridge of salvation. That's the way to salvation. It begins with understanding. And those that the Most High want. He have given them a, a, a understanding heart. And those that he don't want. He have what? Uh, uh, make their, their hearts waxed gross. Meaning he have blocked their minds. To understand his truth. Or to see the light. Verse 16. Blessed are your ears, for they see, and your eyes, for they hear. All right? So we are am amongst the blessed ones because we have the the, the eyes to see, meaning uh, uh, the eye salve, okay, to perceive these or see these prophecies, and we have the ears to hear, meaning the understanding heart to receive um, these living words. All right? And due to us, uh, receiving these living words, okay, we are up under this shroud of secrecy. We are in the secret place of the Most High due to understanding. And a heathen can't come in this secret place, all right? Regardless of how a brother look, if he can understand his truth, at heart he's an Israelite. Psalms 91 and 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, the only way that you're going to do this is understand, okay? Proverbs 14 
in verse 8. It says, the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. And the folly of fools is deceit. The wisdom of, of the prudent is to understand his way. And we understand Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's way through his only begotten son supping with us by us receiving the gift of faith, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Okay. And we want to continue in that. That's why we want to pray for an uh, enduring heart. Okay. A heart that's full of patience. And, and it says, Proverbs 14 and 8 again, the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way. But the folly of fools is deceit. And we don't want to be those that's found with deceit in our mouths. We want to be a part of those that have been cleansed. All right. Uh, Revelation 14 and 5. It says. And. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whatsoever he goeth. These are redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, meaning we speak 100% truth due to supreme understanding. Okay, and that brings forth supreme wisdom and knowledge. It says, in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High, because we speak the 100% truth. We rightly divide the word of truth, all right? Call the Most High and His only begun, begotten Son by their proper, correct, ancient names, all right? And we follow the old path, okay? And we, we, we speak uh, no deceit, all right? Meaning we speak no lies. There's no guile in our mouth, and that's due to us understanding, okay? Only by us understanding. You know, because that is the key. Understanding. Proverbs 4 and 7 again. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Call halal, Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kwadash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. Lord willing, this lesson made sense and that this was edifying DTA.